My name is Nikki Enton. I manage our global sourcing and operations program management teams here at Formlabs. Formlabs is a company that develops software, hardware, and materials to create a seamless and affordable 3D printing workflow for the professional consumer. We are one of the leading world suppliers of professional SLA and SLS 3D printers. We support customers like New Balance, Ford, Hasbro, Gillette, and so many others across healthcare, aerospace, and consumer product industries. Our goals are to build the tools that make it possible for anyone to bring their ideas to life. And we see that impact every day through the more than 300 million parts produced by our printers. We have um, a global operations team with people across Europe, the US and Asia, covering functions like sourcing, manufacturing, planning, logistics, fulfillment and compliance. We also have a pretty big team in Ohio dedicated to our materials manufacturing, where we actually own and operate our own plant. Uh, like I said earlier, I manage our global sourcing and operations program management teams at Formlabs. So the global sourcing team is responsible for hardware supply chain strategy. That includes things like finding suppliers, deciding who we work with, negotiating costs, monitoring production and availability of components and raw materials, and managing overall supplier performance. Um, our program management team typically works on a new product and is responsible for operational readiness of that product. So they're working with all cross-functional teams like supplier quality, manufacturing, R&D, sourcing, planning, and more to make sure that each function is ready for a product launch. Throughout NPI, there are a ton of competing priorities, and so that operations program management uh, operations program manager is there to drive convergence of a lot of different activities across a lot of different teams to get the best result for the product. Our engineers come up with really awesome designs that make our printers reliable, accurate, and fast, but figuring out how to make those designs at scale and for a low cost can be pretty tough. So finding the right supplier that is capable, excited to work with us, and can meet our cost and quality requirements tend to make up some of the, the more fun challenges. Um, one example I'm really proud of is the entire Form 4 LPU. So last year with the release of the Form 4 and 4L, we totally changed the optical architecture of our printers. There were so many different parts to figure out how to source or manufacture. Um, some of the more exciting things were the lens, which it's really just an injection molding part, but finding uh, the right vendor that could get the tolerances and optical performance we need was pretty challenging. Uh, the other really exciting one was the release texture. So if you're familiar with the Form 4 LPU, it's an LCD screen that looks like this and there's this textured film on top. Um, this was one of, a, one of the harder parts to figure out how to make. There's not a lot of manufacturing methods out there that could get the right tolerancing and optical clarity that we need. So it was a pretty long search where we were partnering with R&D and a ton of suppliers and, and eventually made the, the supply chain work. And so I think more of the um, really fun challenges that we have are working closely with R&D to take their designs and figure out how to really build them at scale. It really changes a lot, but I think that's one of the most exciting things. Um, throughout the day, I'll find myself switching between a ton of topics at once. I might go from working with our legal team on a new supplier contract to then meeting with engineering where we're reviewing a quality or supplier issue and discussing how to resolve them. Um, myself and my team is split across both supporting existing products and new product development. So on the new product side, uh, the days are probably spent working really closely with R&D on sourcing or costing out new designs. It's a ton of collaboration on finding the best and most cost-effective way to make something. As we move a little bit closer to a product launch, um, our day-to-day -day is typically daily meetings with suppliers to make sure that their output is on track and that we're looking at their quality metrics um, and attainment so that we can you know, have a seamless product launch. Um, for the mass production side, ideally that day-to-day -day is very smooth. Um, this might mean working on continuous improvement activities or cost reductions, partnering with planning on future demand forecasts, or working with our finance team on spend estimates. Um, but of course, there's always the like unexpected things that can happen in supply chain, uh, things like global pandemics, weather events, uh, shutdowns, tariffs. Um, and so sometimes there is a fair share of firefighting to be had on the, the mass production side of things. We really want to find technical individuals who are great at communication, like working with others and are eager to negotiate. 
Um, I've got an engineering background. Most of my team has an engineering background. And it's really important because it's hard to negotiate with suppliers or build a great supply chain if you don't understand the manufacturing behind the part you're negotiating. So throughout the interview process, we're trying to assess both technical and communication skills. Um, sometimes there is a take home challenge that tries to calibrate on those hard skills. And then during virtual or on-site interviews, you might have many case studies where we'll walk through an example of a previous problem and see how you'll problem solve it. Um, like I have mentioned, there's a lot of task switching in what we do, uh, and you really get to do such a wide variety of things. And so we, we try to find people that are really excited about that. Obviously, I, I might be a little bit biased here, uh, but I think this is like really such a great and fun position to be in. Um, I was a design engineer in my last two roles before joining Form Labs, and I would have never guessed that I would end up in sourcing or supply chain. And now I, I can't imagine doing anything else. Um, if you want to understand how complex systems are built and scaled, joining the Form Labs operation team is an awesome opportunity. You get the chance to travel around the world to different suppliers, spend time on manufacturing lines, and gain a really intimate understanding of almost every manufacturing method. Uh, for myself, I've really loved being able to spend time both on sustaining production and the business side of things, but also new products. So spending time on both of those sides really builds an appreciation for what is required in a stable, mature operation, but still gives you the opportunity to be a little bit more creative and innovative in sourcing for new products. Um, outside of my own team, what has been really fun about my time at Form Labs is the opportunity to do so many different things. We're a really fast growing company, and so new opportunities and challenges come up every day. I've had the chance to try a ton of different roles in Form Labs, many on the operation side, but some even that touch almost product and sales strategy. Um, my favorite and probably best year at Form Labs was last year when I was living in China and managing our operations team over there. It was an awesome opportunity to live abroad, gain an appreciation for the hard work that that team does, and be a lot closer to a large portion of our supply chain. So. Yeah, outside of why I want people to be excited to join my own team, um, I think if you want to solve hard problems, have a lot of ownership on what you work on, and get to have a lot of width in your work, Form Labs is a really awesome place.